hot This revolution will never be televised Never had to try, I always get it done But when you hear my music, you know that I'm the one Well okay, start believing In the game and you know we never I'm Glenn Davis, better known as Big Baby I'm originally from Baton Rouge, Louisiana And I play basketball for the LA Clippers Cause I see through the lies Where I'm from, you know, eating is a form of entertainment Right? Try to be even with it. Okay. Put it on. We're trying to do presentation also. Presentation is yeah. really, really big. You gotta have presentation in the meal. Um, we eat in Louisiana for fun every day, you know. So sometimes you you, you create those bad habits. And um, now um, me being in the NBA and understanding healthy living and healthy eating, um, it's a part of my life. Healthy living and healthy cooking uh, means a lot to me. That you can really lose weight, eat right, you know, at the same time. Easy floss. Okay, so here's your... that. And I was like, wow, I need to learn how to do this. So that was a pivotal point in my career where I had to really take control of my food, make sure that I ate the right things because it affected me in so many ways and also my process of getting healthy. Being in here for like, and watching, it's easy. I never thought how, like, I'm seeing, I watch her every day. And she makes it look easy. This is a year that, that Glenn Davis is not a boy anymore. It's mentally, physically. It's something that I didn't grasp and understand it when I was younger. Um, the more and more that I went in my career and the more success I got, the more knowledge I gained. And the more and more I seen how food affect me um, I really had a passion for it because I knew that if I eat well um, and take care of my body and make sure I do the necessary things every day, then my career will, you know, the sky's the limit. Okay, okay, the mushroom, Christine, is yeah. that right? Uh, -huh. uh with the Asian glazed <laughs> chicken with the stir fried vegetables, okay, okay. <laughs> here you go right here, here you go right here. Okay, I agree. I need to get you. I'm not, what was that, baby? I'm not allergic to anything, so I can eat all this stuff. <laughs> Juice is going. Bring it to a boil and cover. Bring it to a boil and cover. Okay. Country boy at heart. We uh, we're gonna start cooking it a little bit, man. Y'all hungry? Big teddy bear, I would have to say. And you get that Asian glaze. glaze. Most definitely. Not perfect at all. Um, and throughout my life, you build habits. There's cycles that they create. Some are good and some are bad. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, working on them every single day. And making sure that I understand the process, the journey where I'm trying to go to that, that reinvention of myself. You want to create that glaze. You just cut the heat up, and now, as you can see, as it's boiling, we want that syrupy, like, you know, I'm talking about that syrupy thing. I never knew how important healthy living was until I broke my foot. Um, I had to really change my diet because I couldn't run and do a lot of, you know, activity. You know, make a trail, that's when you know your glaze is, is right on point. But we have, look what we have, we have, a, we have a trail. Something clicks in your head, oh, you know, you have to stay in this lead a little longer. You're going to be 30, you're going to start getting older, metabolism's going to slow down, you know. You don't know. I think one of the most things for my first four or five years is the fact that you have other people telling you what to eat, but do you truly know what you're putting in your body? You gotta put the right food in. And I used to not put the right food in my body. You come home and say, Mom, make me, make me some catfish and potato salad and peas. Like, I love that meal. Great Kool-Aid. <laughs> it was a must. 
I ate extra for you last night just for this. <laughs> yeah. Also being an athlete, you gotta work out. There's some part of the day, every day, you have to do something. Because it comes a time where it's time to work and you don't want that. I can't breathe, I'm out of shape feeling to do something every day. After all our cooking, after all the fun in the kitchen, we're gonna play games. Kinda relax, play games, have fun, you know? When the last time you played a game, a board game, like a long time ago, right? So that's what we're doing. And I try to focus on some things as far as like after basketball. So I try to work on things that I, I see myself being after basketball. <laughs> right here. Now about the vegetables. We want to add the vegetables here. Whoa. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> here we go. What did you learn making this dish today? You know what? I learned a lot. I learned about glazing. I learned about um, cooking vegetables, how we want to um, make sure that we don't want to cook too much. You know, there's a difference between cooking too much and um, also uh, brown rice. I never really seen brown rice cooked before. Who wants some more juice, Carol? Carol, you want some more juice, girl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not a no juice. <laughs> Put a little bit of this, on the this is plate. this is this is the awesome part. Chives give a nice. Oh, look how pretty it's beautiful. Aromatic for the ladies. <laughs> for the ladies. Flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Edible flowers. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, just sprinkle them. Beautiful. <laughs> and a little sesame seeds on the vegetables. Boom! Oh. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Bada bang, yeah. bada bang! Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Alright, now everybody eat. Yeah. 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 Yeah